Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to convert your PlayStation 2 bin and Q files into ISO files. So let me show you what I mean. Here I have Indian Jones for the PlayStation 2. Um, if we go to properties and check its file type, it says disk image file ISO. And that's what we're needing compared to what I have here and for this, yeah, bin and Q. So I have that as bin and Q and I also have this game as bin and Q. And we sadly do not want that. So the program that we're going to need is WinBin2 ISO. Um, I'll leave a link in the description down below to, so they can download this program. But once you download this program, all you need to do is click on the folder and open up the application. If you do not see this screen right here, all you have to do is click bin to ISO. It's probably on the info page or um, the license page. So you just want to hit this and then you'll get to this page. So of course source will be our bin folder and it's selected as my ROM, but probably once you um, select that, you'll probably go to your desktop or your download folder. If you did not move your ROMs in the downloads folder, or probably in the downloads folder. But if you did, what I did is just drag the downloaded ROM from downloads to the desktop. It'll probably be on your desktop tab. So, of course, my game is here and here, but we're just select like erasers and select bin and hit open. And it'll do this. And for target, that's where it's going to save at. So what we're going to do is hit the tab again. And what I like to do is go back to desktop and select Lego Racers 2 or whatever game that you've downloaded. Select the folder again. And of course, it'll say no items match your search. That's okay. Um, you can rename the file whatever you want to. Uh, but as for me, I'm just going to leave it there. Save the type as ISO and just hit save. Then once you're all done, just hit convert and then your game will start converting. Now, I don't know what this program does. I don't know if it reads from the queue and the bin and mixes them together, but I think that's what it does pretty well at because honestly, I tried some other ways and they did not work. <laughs> boom we are done it only took me about 56 seconds and that's about it that's all it takes so once you're done you can hit escaped or just hit the X button and then hit the X button again and then go into your game that you downloaded so for me it's Lego racers again and then boom disk image file if you hit properties it says ISO and hopefully this game works for you as well as it works for me and if you guys like this video, please like, subscribe, and you guys have a nice day.